Mesa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Carrie Harrington. All this week on Dateline Schools, been looking at the new state testing program called MSTEP. And to give us all the details on the changes that the state is implementing, my special guest is the Director of Education Services here at RESA, Dr. Joanne Hopper. And Dr. Hopper, all week you've been emphasizing the big, the big change with this new testing is the technology. And I think I would think here in St. Clair County, we're pretty fortunate and have a lot of things already in place, don't we? Yeah, way before I came here, um, what, eight years ago, we had an infrastructure of fiber optic network that has really positioned our schools to have, um, you know, a nice network and from which to build. But now we're looking at computer stations for every student that needs to respond to this test. So that's been an, a logistical challenge. Our state has had a um, grant, a TRIG grant, Technology Readiness Implementation Grant, that we've really been working across the state. They've had um, bids that have helped schools, statewide bids, buy into um, really competitive pricing to get their devices. But you know, devices change so much. So that's just been a challenge. And then keyboarding, you know, a lot of kids go in to use touch interfaces with computers. So we just had a discussion last week about, well, there are a lot of um, questions on this test where students are gonna have to keyboard and when is that being taught again? And you know, so there it, there are a lot of um, ramifications to and considerations about testing in this environment. So I'm sure a little anxiety for the teachers as we get ready for that April testing window. <laughs> teachers, administrators, you know, all of the above, we're working toward trying to really be ready for the students' sake and helping kids feel prepared and equipped too, you know, so that they are practicing through the um, tools that MDE put out there and they're available online at michigan.gov forward slash BAA. There are practice test environments that kids can go into and learn how these drag and drop and highlighting features and test enhancement features work. With all these changes, one thing we haven't talked about is the parent component, which I know is really important for the success of our kids. What, what should parents be doing to prepare their kids for this now? Well, one thing immediately to get ready for that test is, like I said, you could help your child learn how to explore and use those kinds of features. Parents can go on that website that I mentioned and walk their kids through it too. But more importantly, I think parents should encourage their kids to be involved in opportunities that get them out into real-world context and so that they can learn to present arguments and talk in front of people and um, be creative and create, you know, projects like through 4-H or Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts or the YMCA or those types of things. Getting your kids involved in that will help them become more engaged in their learning and then they're going to do better on tests like this. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington. Dateline Schools is a production of St. Clair County Reset.